everybody this is gail welcome to my channel oh my stars i have got two cameras going it looks like or trying to this won't work let me try this again hold on i don't know what's up with that remove there we go that should just be one now right one of me hey i don't know what that's up women's station channel is in hey Lori. And John's in. Hi, John. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the two of us are out and about today. And I've, I'm so excited to bring you a couple of really neat things, starting with Lori's book. Oh, my gosh. Here, I'm going to move this just a little bit. I thought I had it up high enough. There we go. Here we go. So, Lori, I got your book. I wanted to share it. Let me take down my dirty towels. Sorry about that. Okay. So I have the book and I wanted to share it. I want to first thank Lori for sending it to me. I am I'm so excited. I, I only tore off the little corner just to make sure that, of what it was in here. So I haven't opened it yet. I wanted to do it all live and on air. And if you want to jump in, let me know. Or if you would like to come in next week and do a reading, that would be great. Hi, Lori. I'm so excited. Ta-da! Finding Passion Through Truth, a book of poetry by Lori Jean Fanilia. There you go. There it is. Yay! I'm so excited. And on the back of the book, she says, which look at this by the way isn't that pretty that's a great photograph isn't it would love to do a reading do you want to do it tonight or do you want to come and join us saturday let me know either way you'd like to do it is totally great with me i'm so stoked so anyway let me read you the back of the book and Lori, this is on amazon right i'm going to move this This is on Amazon, right? Just type it in and let me know. Um, and if it is on Amazon, I'll put it down in a comment below. Hi. He's not alerting. He just wants to play right now. But you can't play. I'm on the live stream. I'll move my stuff though. So, all right. Here we go. This is a perfect coffee table book. Many visitors will be glad they explored the writing in this book that has come so far with expression. We can all be proud of the changes we've all brought to humanity and the outcome. These are poems of complete expression with no holding back. Progressive poems bring sanity and change to our world. They help keep people alive, contributing to expression and helping with not being afraid to come out with, with words needed to say that which will save lives. The poems in this book range from happiness, sadness, memories, rape, molestation, love, female connection, and many more emotions. Some of us are traditional structure, while others are. As she goes on to say, in smaller print, Lori has been publishing since 2004. She has produced and hosted media shows all over the world showing support for women. She is hopeful this book will open doors to expression. She has always wanted to write since she was little, having a hard time coming to her first story, sitting of a handmade desk made by her father with a pencil and paper. The paper was scraps from his work at a local printing shop where he was a professional printer. He knew she had many forms of expression, writing to be told. She is inspired by her grandmothers of many eras on both sides. Yay, Lori, this is amazing. 
I'm so excited. Well, let's see who else has joined us. Stellar Piper, DVD didn't take as long as it usually does, so I made it. Yay! We're really glad. Really, really glad. And Lori says, next Saturday, um, Jesse took the back picture. Yes, it's on Amazon. Let me put this right here so everybody can see it. So it's on Amazon. And what I'll do is I'll link that, I'll link this to a comment down below all right you all and let me see here um oh she wrote inside of it gail thank you for your love knowledge and support in making my life better your love your friend Lori jean Pellier. oh thank you that is awesome so, Lori, is there any portion that you don't want me to read that you're going to want to read next week? Because I don't want to steal your thunder or anything like that. Um, so let me know. And if it's fair game, I'll just read the first couple um, or maybe the first one. But the foreword is she says these are poems written by Lori that she feels are her best from the past few years, writing for her singer-songwriter podcast and then turning the best ones into poems. She's done a lot of meditating and praying to these poems. She thanks her son, who matters the most, for her inspiration. And Lori has just, she's been on here before. She has had like the neatest life. Uh, given some of her experiences and some of it's come out of some bad situations, but she's just a really neat person. And if you have not familiarized yourself with her blog, you really need to. Um, and that is right back here. Lori Jean Penelia, and I'll link that below too, okay? So I'm just, I'm going to read the first one. And the first one is kind of deep. She says, it feels like death. You shed a tear. I stare at you, hopelessness in my face. You want to understand. But the pain is too deep to communicate. All hope is lost at these times. You want to talk? My fear of it is happening again. You don't understand. My nightmares are of you. At this exact place where you are, with me, I can't reach you. I keep falling down, 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 down. My fear can't get much worse. I feel it's over. Worse, not just for you and me, but me all alone in this. I feel the most alone that I've ever felt. Why fall in love just to end up like this? I'm falling down, 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 down. This lonely world is spinning around me. You say you're sorry. You want to reach me. But I don't know how to tell you how I feel so you understand. And this can be over, never to happen again. That's that's some awesome writing. You know, you can just feel the emotion in it coming through. And I'm going to flip on over. Let me see. Let me see. What would be a good one? These all look good. I, and this is the first time I've seen it. So I'm kind of scanning through really, really fast. I'm going to have it. But it looks like it's going to be a short read. So let me flip over. OK, I'm on page 47. And I'll probably have this all read by next week. Let's see. Finding passion through truth. There we go. And let's see. For you to blossom. Let's get, let's go to page 76. I promised I'd be there, though I'm trapped in my own circumstances. Your bravery is like nothing I've seen before. It leaves me speechless. Not only do I want you to live, I still remain to see you every day, waiting patiently for you to blossom. I think frantically with fear how long I've taken to reach you 
hoping later than none will work. I remember seeing your tears, your thinness, your heartache. My hand wanted to reach you, though my mind was stronger than my physical form could persevere. I know time has outweighed your pain. I pray every day I will make a difference for you that sometime, somehow hope brings endurance passed on. That's super cool. Okay, you all, that's just a taste of the poems that are in here. So check it out, okay? This is the book cover you're going to look for on Amazon. So there we go. Lori, thank you very, very much for sending this. I am very excited to read it. You've just been a neat person. And through all the years that we've kind of been connected, I've just been odd. You know, you're just an amazing person. So thank you very much for sending this. Uh, thank you for writing it. Thank you for your songs. Now, check out, she's on YouTube too. I don't know why I didn't mention that sooner, but you should check out her channel. Just check out, check her out. Channel, blog, Spotify, you name it, check it out. And I'm going to link, I'm going to link her blog below in the comments and as well as the book. So, yeah. Yeah, Stellar Piper says, that's awesome. Thanks on the book. So, sorry, congrats on the book. I cannot see tonight. Okay, so there we go. All right, I'm going to move on to the unboxing. And I said I had one unboxing. That's actually not true uh, since my second pa second thing came in. I'm going to do them both. And these are some tripod selfie sticks. I don't know if I told you, but on the trip here to Alaska, I managed to break yet another selfie stick tripod. Yes, another Fujitech. Bit the dust. This one, it kind of got ran over. So... I ordered a couple of smaller ones because they were cheaper than the Fuji Tech. Um, but as soon as I can, I'm going to get another Fuji Tech because that's just like my favorite tripod ever. So I'm going to open this up. This is Anker, A -N or Ansker, A N X R, selfie stick tripod, 1.25 meters, and it comes with a remote. And let's see. The manufacturer name is Shenzhen Keiki Innovation Technology. I hope I didn't butcher that. I probably butchered that, right? But this is what it says on the box, okay, you all. So, and let's see. A uh, Women's Station Channel says, thanks, Stellar. You're welcome, Gay. I love you. You too. So, all right, so I've got this selfie stick tripod, this one, and we'll see how it is. There is a little tooth mark or two on the box that you may notice. It did not come that way originally. Somebody went to get the package for me. Who might that be? Who would that be? Okay, we're going to open this up. And when he did, he managed to put his mouth right through part of it so okay so anyway it comes with a user manual and there is another little piece in here that i cannot get out of the box it's a piece of paper so we'll just go this way and now you can't get the box again. Okay. Oh, this says it's got a two year warranty. I don't know if that includes getting run over or not. <laughs> Hopefully this one won't, right? Um, but if it does, it's got a two year warranty, it says, and it gives me an email address for support, which will be good. So this one, a meter and a half, so it should be around, what is that, 40-ish inches. And it's going to fold up uh, smaller than some of my other selfie stick tripods. There you go. So that's the length there. 
and let's see. Got the top flips back to right here. So it doesn't have quite as much of a spin radius as some. So there we go. The remote is right here underneath the flip part. And it doesn't want to, the legs don't want to open easily, which is both a plus and a negative. It's a negative if I'm, if I'm here trying to get it open, it's a negative. But if I want it to stay closed like it, it's definitely going to be a positive. Okay, so it's got a pretty good footprint on it. And let's see. All right, so it is exactly as tall as my ceiling. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll bring it up here. Yeah, I had to mash it down a little bit, didn't I? Okay, so there we go. It goes up to my ceiling. So that's a pretty good length, height rather. Now my ceiling is lower than a regular van. This is a standard height Chevy Express, but where I've got the, the ceiling with all the insulation behind it, it's a little bit lower than you would expect in a van. So this is about 40, I think 46 42 I'll have to go back and measure it but fully extended that's where the selfie stick is so I have it in just a little bit if I want to use it as a selfie stick instead of the tripod which I will part of the time then all I have to do is pull up on this part to latch it. Not, I mean, to close the legs and kind of latch it with the legs closed. I just pull up on that. And yeah, from here it'll reach the corner of my, my van. It's dark outside, so I can't show you outside. But. I think I'm going to be really happy with the length. You know, it's it's also pretty firm to push in, so that's good. Um, I I did get a selfie stick tripod once before, and after I used it literally just a couple of times, what happened is the top started sliding down slowly on its own. So clearly, that's not what you want. This feels firm. I don't feel like I'm going to have that problem, at least not anytime soon, um, because it feels really, really firm. Feels heavy, but not overly heavy. So basically, it feels like it's not going to tip over that well on a windy day. Um, but I can put it, I think, in my backpack without weighting it down too much. So I think I'm going to be happy with it. Now I went ahead and got another one just because it was on a really, really good deal. It's one of those lightning deals. I don't remember what I paid for it now, but it was less than $10. And I went ahead and picked this one up too. Now this one is, is more for the, my purse. Um, it's, a, it's not gonna be as tall and you can see the difference in size. So fully extended, it's not gonna be as tall as this one. and you know, sometimes I really need the height and I like having the height. Um, and sometimes I just need something like if you're at a restaurant and I want to take some photos of, let's say, the food or something like that. And I want to make sure it's really, really steady. Then I want a short selfie stick tripod. And 
that is the one, this is the replacement for the one that started slowly, you know, seeping down. Um, that one uh, was a Yokeo. It's an off brand. It's not even available now on Amazon, as far as I know, because I went to look for the listing and I couldn't find it. So I got this one as a replacement for that. And this one is firm and steady, Ambertronics, high quality selfie stick with an umbrella structure, it says. Now this one also has the remote because I don't wanna get a tripod without a remote, even though with me, I'm not gonna probably keep up with it long. I am gonna try. So I've got that. Here's the box. And so, you know, part of the reason that I want these tripods is because I do shake sometimes. It's just part of, part of me and I can't always get a really steady picture. So for that, I wanna make sure I have a tripod. Also my camera, um, I'm using the Google Pixel 6a and it's got really good stabilization. So between the two, I sort of do okay. Now the other reason that I bought this is because there's a light on it. And so it, they also provided me with the USB cord. So that's good. And it's a, looks like a micro USB. The other th reason, the, the other thing that drew me to this is the legs on this are a little bit different. It's not a tripod. And this is a quad pod with four legs. Now let's see, it's got this little user's manual in with it. Now this one also, I will tell you, um, this one came from the Fujitech store. So it is a Fujitech brand, but it's just not the, nor the usual Fujitech tripod that I usually have. So, all right, let's open this bad girl up. Okay. So this one also feels sturdy. And that's what I really want because the last thing that you need is to go out somewhere, set up your selfie stick tripod, and find out that the wind is blowing it every which way. Like who needs that, right? So I want something kind of firm, but yet I don't want something that's gonna weight down my backpack. Um, I don't feel like this will. And this is probably gonna be what I take in to restaurants and so forth, but we'll see. Let me see how it looks first before I get too carried away. So this folds down. Now, unlike some tripods, it does not fold down over the remote. Like this one, this folds down underneath the remote, okay? And these are unboxing, so I'm gonna have to test and make sure the remote works. Um, it looks pretty positive. But anyway, I'll test it for sure. Um, but anyway, on this one, you see that the top folds over and that kind of protects the remote. So as you bump it around in your backpack or in your purse or your car, you're not as likely to lose the remote control. So this one does not fold down like that, um, but the remote control looks like, yeah, it's gonna clip in. So it's on the opposite side of your phone holder but it did click in and out. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It makes like a little clicking sound when it's in there. So that should hold it in pretty good. Um, opening it up, let's see how far it'll go. So this has got a much larger radius than say this one, because you know, this one only went from straight up to straight against the stick. This one goes from right up next to the stick here to straight up and then down. I really like that just because it gives more versatility, you know? So let me fold it back over. 
and open it up some. So this one's not going to be as tall. I'll open it up full tilt, but what I wanted to do is show you the legs on it. Okay, so this has got four. It's a quad. It is not the tripod, which has three legs. This has got four. And on this one, your remote is on one of the legs. So that's nice. I like that um, just because I think it helps make it a little bit more secure um, rather than to have it like towards the top up here or closer down to where it can, you know, get caught when you're opening and closing this. I like that it's further down. I just feel like that's going to help help protect it a little bit. So it feels pretty smooth um, pulling these out. I'm not having any problems. It's not sticking at all. I'm going to pull this up and let's see. So it's got a pretty good length to it, a pretty good height. It looks like it's longer than I thought. So that's nice. It's not going to reach the top of the van by any means, which is which is nice. So I'm going to be able to go. Pretty close. OK, let me see. OK, this is the shortest way it will go. And then it's going to it, it can go fold over just like that. So my concern with this is that when it folds over like this it may hit the leg as far as getting it in the photo so i'm going to have to watch that um some tripods and quadrupods will actually kind of hold its position so that you can still you can put it on a surface but if i don't want to open it out completely flat It'll hold its position. I'm not sure this is going to do that. So hopefully I won't get it caught when I'm doing a video. Oh, one thing I do notice, this is nice. I can twist it just a little bit and get it more in between the legs instead of right on top of the leg. I'll hold it like that. I think you can see it better. So that'll be good. Still sturdy. Just pushing down on it a little bit of pressure. Doesn't fold it. I'm actually having to put a good bit of pressure down to fold it. So I feel pretty good about it. Now, the, the one thing about the quad is that sometimes they're not as sturdy because it's harder to avoid rocks and things when you go to unfold it and set it down um, just simply because you've got four legs to deal with um, instead of three but after you get it set it should remain pretty sturdy um, again i got this for like restaurants indoor work so i'm not as concerned about putting it like on rocks and pebbles and so forth so I think I'm going to like it. Also, let me see if I can figure out right quick how to do the light. Okay. So it looks like, oh, this would be good. Okay. Yep. I'm doing the light. Hold on just a second. Okay. One thing I like about this, on the button for the light right here, it is recessed. So what does that mean? Well, that means you're not as likely to just bump it up against something and have the light turn on. So I like that um, a lot, actually a whole lot. Now, when I go to charge it, okay, it's just going to charge right there. It's got multiple light settings. Let me show you. And I have to put my finger pretty well in there. 
to be able, I don't know if you can see where my fingernail is, link. Okay, um, I'll put those in the description box. And if you do purchase through my link, I'm going to go ahead and tell you it's an affiliate link. I may earn a little commission on it. I don't always, but I may earn a little commission on your purchases. I'll be honest with you. This one, I probably will, but some things you buy from Amazon, I won't just because it's Amazon and they're like that. So I will link it though. And I will tell you, if you do purchase through my link, I appreciate it. So um, this looks recessed or this is, this is recessed. I'm having to put my finger in there pretty good. So the light is on. Hopefully you can see that. I'll kind of shade it a little bit. There you go. The light, the light's on. This is a warm light that's on. So it goes to from no light to one LED to two LEDs. Okay, so this is a warmer light. It's kind of a golden. And it gets a little brighter. And then it turns. It's still on, but it's less of a gold light. It's more of a cooler light. And it goes a little higher on the, on the brightness and a little bit more. And then it goes to this one where you can see the two um, blue-white LEDs. I don't know that the camera is picking it up. But there are two stripes you can see the two leds or i can anyway i don't know that the camera is picking it up that great but i can see it and it is the white looking ones so so this is going to give off a cool light as well as a warm light and that's got three levels and then back to the gold with the two gold color leds so what does the different levels of light mean on the selfie stick tripod? Well, of course, it's going to mean brighter and dimmer, but it's also going to mean that you can adjust for your atmosphere. Um, if you need a warmer light, you can do that. Um, it looks like it'll go pretty warm going over toward cool. But if you need just a cool light, it's going to do that too. So let's say I am, for example, in the van and it's really dark and I just need a little bit of light uh, for the video that I'm filming. Then this gold colored light will do that. Um, it just makes for a warmer skin tone. And then of course it's got it where you can adjust the brightness on that. Okay. So that'll work that'll really warm up your skin tones so if you like that look or if you're in a situation where you feel like you need that look then you've got it but it'll also do a combination of warm and cool which is kind of it's kind of good sometimes to have it's always good to have that option what you always want in life is more options and so this the light on this is delivering on the options and the other thing that i noticed right off the bat that i like is it's already charged i i took this out of the box for the first time and this bad girl is charged so i really like that um and again it'll go cooler and i'll have to i'll tell you all let me let me turn it off right now though a steady hold turns it off and on and then to change the lights it's a shorter shorter you don't hold it you just click it oh also one thing too that i like this has a no skid top at the top of this selfie stick latch for your phone and it's also got a little it makes like a little bracket because it's got a little edge there let me see if you guys can see that. So this whole thing makes a clamp, whereas some selfie stick tripods are just straight. And I don't, I don't like those that are just straight because it doesn't hold my phone nearly as securely. 
Um, so I really like that. And again, this is by Fujitech. And I like the other tripods by Fujitech. So got pretty high hopes from this one. Now I do have a surviving Fujitech tripod that I usually have. I'm going to grab it just so you can see what I'm talking about on some of these things. The problem with this now is I have again lost another head um, for my phone. I do not know where that is. So I've got to order another one. And true to form, I have also lost. This is where the remote control goes. It's also, I mean, it's on the main part of the body of the tripod. And you would think that I could keep up with these things. But part of the thing about having a head injury and having ADD is I tend to be hard on equipment. And like I, I told you that one of them got run over. Um, so, yeah, but this is like, this is, I, I like the Fuji Tech. I'm just going to brag on this for a little bit. Um, it also, it slides down. It stays in position because of the way the base is made. There's a little lip right there and it helps hold it. It's not going to go down farther than that. But if I want to only use it part way, I can. And then it's got this little dial on here. So I can just screw it down tight. And then I can, I can have extra height or not have extra height. That's one of the things I really like about this. The other thing is I love that it does its thing there uh, just with lips. I had a tripod, not a selfie stick tripod, but a regular tripod, and it screwed in. It was really super, super sturdy and super, super tight, and I liked it, but it was not fast. It was sturdy, but it wasn't fast, and this one I like because it's fast. So this is just, you know, like I said, this is my favorite tripod, and it's pretty tall. You know, like that, if it had the part on it that it's supposed to, <laughs> that you use to actually put your cell phone on, then you would find that it goes to the ceiling and beyond. But this is a 52 inch tripod, selfie stick tripod. Um, the reason that I lost the top part of this is because this is firm enough that I can put a camcorder on it or uh, when I had my Nikon D5500 I could put that on here too and feel pretty secure with it. So it's got that standard tripod mount right there and it'll take any of the little square or rectangle um, mounts that you would use um, that just slide on your camera and off. So. I like that, but it doesn't fold down really small. Um, this white one by Fujitech that I just got, this Ambertronics, it's gonna it folds much smaller. So which one do you want to take into a restaurant or take places? You know, so I use this one for outside a lot, but it's just. You know, your size is just, this is as small as this one will go. But like I said, this is a 52 inch tripod. Uh, same thing with this one. Yeah, but it's, it's sturdier. So anyhow, I think I'm going to be really happy with the two selfie stick tripods that I've got. The size on these, of course, you know, there's some difference between each other. And, you know, your size of your tripod, once it's folded, is determined in part by the length of your tripod. So the longer your selfie stick tripod, the bigger it's going to be when you go to carry it. And you need to know that so when you go to look at them online and you're comparing them and you think, oh, gosh, I would love to have 
a 52 inch selfie stick tripod to take with me. Yeah, I dearly love this, but it's not going to fold down as small as this one because this one is not as long. So let me see if I can double check what the length is on this one. Because as I talk to you, I'm realizing I forgot how long it is on this one, too. You would think it would say. Okay, I'll, I'll measure it and I'll look that up. And we'll go from there. I'll put that down in the, um, in the description box. The other thing about selfie stick tripods that you need to know if you're looking at getting one, and this is super, super important, okay, because I got stuck with this. Not all selfie stick tripods have a swivel head that you can turn and put your camera at any angle. Now, this one's got a 360 degree spin on it. All tripods don't, and that can be a real pain. Because let's say you want to go from vertical to horizontal. On some selfie stick tripods, you can't do it. And let's say you want to go from horizontal to vertical, but you need to invert the camera. And some stealthy stick tripods, you can't do that either. On um, this one, you can. And I think it's more important on a selfie stick tripod like this one to be able to spin it all different directions because of the light. You, When you angle your phone, if your light is like this at the top, for example, and you can't spin it the 360 degrees. This means that you are going to have to take your phone off and turn your phone and put it back on here to be able to take the photo. Well, that is going to change the angle that your light is on. And sometimes you're going to need, instead of flipping the phone, sometimes you're going to need to flip this because it's going to change the angle of your light. So when you go to look at a selfie stick tripod, keep that in mind. Um, just the whole will it spin or won't it, won't it? And then what is your, uh, your range of motion on this? Does it go straight up? Or can you go a little bit further? And I think you've seen on this one the difference. This just goes straight up. So that's as far as it's going to go. And that might not be a problem for you. I just, I like it better being able to flop, um, not flop, rotate, spin have that range of motion, I guess I'll just say, um, because it gives you more options. And I like options. And when I open this, um, I'll show you, this one's got a little lip also, but that little lip that's on the grip portion, and it's got no skid on it, so that's good. This lip is not as deep as this one. So you know automatically which one I'm going to feel a little more secure with. And this depth, by the way, is important in case you have a cell phone that's in the case. You want a good depth from the front to the back of this selfie stick and like nobody ever talks about that. But if your phone is in a case, you need that depth. Or otherwise, if you don't have it, 
then you're going to be continually taking your phone out of the case just to be able to use your selfie stick tripod. And I mean, that's okay. If, if, if that's what you've got and that's what you need to do, then that's just what you need to do. But it gets to be a pain. And I have done that on other tripods. So kind of it, it just this is where you want to look at the reviews before you buy your tripods because it just helps. And it gives you something, you know, you can always ask that question. Um, if you're buying it on Amazon, you know, you can ask the people who've done the reviews and who have bought this before and they can they can usually answer and help you. Well, let's see what we got here. Peter Parker is in. She likes to spin. Yeah, I spin. Thank you so much, Gail. I needed to know about the 360 degree angle. Yeah, it, it really is helpful. It makes a difference. Oh, yeah, I was going to try this too on this one and make sure. So this is one that will spin the 360 degrees. And that's good. Now, some selfie stick tripods have on the cell phone holder part, it's got a dial so you can really tighten it up, which is also nice. You're not going to typically have that on your smaller selfie stick tripods, just because it's another portion uh, to stick out and that can catch on things in your bag or backpack. But if that's important to you, um, which it can be sometimes, okay? So what you want to do on that is just really look well at the pictures uh, so you'll know exactly what you're buying. So, but as far as my latest purchases, I'm going to, I really, I think I'm going to like both of them. I'm going to use them for a few days and then I can come back and let you know. Um, I'm really excited about the light on this one, as well as the sturdiness of it, um, because I think I'm, I think I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm going to be looking on Amazon for another cell phone head. Um, if you get a selfie stick tripod, that is more like an actual tripod, then you can get a replacement cell phone holder you usually cannot on these okay you're you're usually pretty much limited to what it came with so that's that may be important to know too so all right okay so i got a thumbs up let's see oh i see husband kick her out of the house into the van lol i'll tell how tall is the white one I would have to measure it because it, it didn't say, and I do not remember, um, but I'm going to try to find that out. Oh, wait. Oh, I just found it. It's on the box. I just overlooked it. This one folds out to seven and a half inches to 40 inch fully extended. So 40 inches on this one. And that is the Ambertronics by Fuji Tech. And this one doesn't say, as far as I can tell. Let me look, wait, let me look again. I gotta get my glasses adjusted again. Oh, okay. This is up to 50 inch. And that's this one that'll go to 50. So there you go. There's your answers. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty pleased. You know, we'll we'll see how they are over time, and if they bomb, I will tell you. Do not worry. So yeah, thank you all for coming out tonight. And don't forget Lori's book, our amazing Lori, one of our very own as part of our bodacious community. This is her book, Finding Passion Through truth so do 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 check this out okay and check out the selfie sticks too if you're looking for a selfie stick try to hold this where you can see everything <laughs> there we go maybe that'll help so so yeah 
But thank you all so much for coming out tonight. I hope you were having a great night. Good night, y'all. Peter's saying good night. So good night, everyone. I think that somebody over here is already well on his way to having a good night. You're snoozing or just about snoozing. Pa? <laughs> yeah, he's just about snoozing. All right, you all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you Saturday at 7 p.m. Now, next week, we're having Crazy Hat Week. So, if you want to be on, let me know, and I will send you a link. I'm, I'm using StreamYard. So, if you want to be on, just bring your best crazy hat, and we'll go from there. Uh, Laurel Stewart's going to be on next week, too. So, all right. Y'all have a good week and I will talk to you on the next video. Good night, y'all.